Good Monday. I'm Aaliyah. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Well, with us today here is Jay Tubbs, right? Yeah. Uh, he is here for a variety of reasons. <laughs> One, I have this thing that I believe that uh, people from the South has better smiles. Better smiles. <laughs> better smiles. So it's kind of like some kind of a, like, he's from Atlanta, yeah. originally, right? Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I believe the Southern people have, have better smiles. Uh, I don't know what the reason is. It might be the soul. It might be the weather. It might be the weather. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, so, the weather from November to, to April is so yeah. better. So, <laughs> that, and he is a rapper, DJ, and a songwriter. A uh, producer. Producer. Yeah. Songwriter as well. So, songwriter yes. as well, right? Yes. Um, so, how did you end up in Fort Wayne? Um, end up coming here um, for educational reasons. Um, I ended up getting a basketball scholarship at uh, Indiana Tech. Mm -hmm. um, Went there on a full ride, and you know, just kind of end up here in, in that way. You mm -hmm. know, came up here to go to school for art, mm -hmm. and it ended up changing over time. I ended up wanting to go for uh, business, mm -hmm. and it's kind of stuck with me. You know, I always had a love for music and stuff, so I kind of tied it in, and mm -hmm. here you go. <laughs> 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 Tell us why Mondays are great. Mondays are great because, oh man. I mean, of course, it's the first first work first work day of the week. Um, I mean, for me, I think those are very a very very productive day for me for you know for I mean a variety of reasons. Like I, I'm I'm an early bird. I'm an early bird. I like to get everything done mm -hmm. out the way so I can enjoy the last side of my week. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't know. It's just it's a big focus day for me, really. Mm -hmm. And what do you do to kickstart your Mondays? I make a long list, a long, <laughs> long checklist of what I have to do for the week, yeah. mm -hmm. and I just kind of try to execute it. Honestly, within Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays, that's what I do. I try to execute it another way. But I mean, everything that I have to do, as far as you said, um, mm -hmm. with me being an artist, producer, and DJ, I kind of have to break those things down that way mm -hmm. and kind of pursue it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk something uh, to our audience. Like, there's a movement in Fort Wayne that started a few years ago, mm -hmm. right? That moment is uh, a lot of younger kids, they said like, you know, this thing that we are going away is not working. Yes. We have to make things happen here, yes. right? Yes. So you are part of that group. I mean, there's a bunch of other kids, some, some are older, some are younger. Mm -hmm. They said like, you know, we are going to change the Fort Wayne for better, not waiting till something happens, yes. right? Yes. So you are, you are part of that thing and then you guys are bringing new acts, like from a year ago to now. Mm -hmm. It, things have changed yes and people are participating people are showing up right yes so we're making it big right <laughs> so tell us some of the yeah. contributions that you have done um, some of the things that we've done is definitely to try to utilize the whole Indiana market um, as far as with hip-hop for sure um, everything to mm -hmm. I mean R&B uh, house music as well you know I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like that's I, I love a little bit of everything I'm kind of like a melting pot for music so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have you know I've, I've grown uh, relationships with several people over the states of Indiana Ohio and Michigan mm -hmm. and um, and try to you know just collectively bring bring a, a nice underground surface to 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 kind of hover in the city of Fort Wayne mm -hmm. and, and to kind of help you know evolve as a community but you know evolve as a state of Indiana in general Mm -hmm. um, and you know, just kind of really just showing the love and, and taking taking the negativity out of um, out of hip hop in particular, uh, mm -hmm. with what the community uh, portrays it or sees it as, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, you know they see a lot of things like we talked about mm -hmm. once before with um, you know the, the violence and the, you know being mm -hmm. thugs and trying to sell drugs. <laughs> it's like it's so it's That's so weird. You. Yeah, exactly, because it's like you know I tell a lot of people that I'm a, I'm a hip hop artist. And they have these assumptions about what I do, yeah. and when they go down to my resume of life, you know, they see that I haven't done a lot of these different things that most rappers would do. Yeah. And it's like, wow, man, I can't take you seriously. But it's like, no, I, you can still take me seriously. I'm a hip hop, I'm a hip hop artist. I'm just not the type of hip hop artist that you think I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like this, this, these people that are listening in, what kind of advice can you give them, especially for the older folks? To yeah. join the young group, um, just don't don't give up on us. Uh, give us an opportunity to kind of wow you. Um, you know, we, we we like to we like to thrive on you know the the way I move on things as far as like I like to see it as 
your your innocence of proven guilty <laughs> on, 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 on the way these things are. You know, it's like you know, don't 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 judge me before you actually get the experience what what I can offer or bring to no, the table. I like that. You know? Yeah. So you know, just, just give us an opportunity to show you what what you know uh, different styles of music. You know, not even just hip hop, but you know, uh, it's always a negative rap and, and uh, negative. Um, mindset and rock music or house music yeah, and stuff right. as mm -hmm. well you know all of it has its stereotypes but just give us an opportunity to actually experience it because we have a lot of stuff to show you so it, things are changing older generations need to be open to the change be a little bit more yeah. open. Mm -hmm. um do you have an adage by which you live your life i'm sorry again do you have an adage by which you live your life i mean i do but i'm, I'm just i'm very free-spirited about how I, how I do things and how i think <laughs> um me think of it. I like to say something that's very important to me to see it is um, I actually learned this in college. <laughs> Prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Oh. <laughs> I, I've heard that from some military people. <laughs> so I like to think about no, that every day of my life and it, it really you know it, it helps me in so much of my my day job, my personal life, my social life, all the way to the music you know just prior planning, just being able to to uh, you know Think like put your thoughts together, have them ready to go, and in, in your in your timeline of life, you know, it's like I, the way I the way I'm thinking about the Fort Wayne community with music and stuff like that. It's not something that's just gonna get it over for the next week or the next year or so. But it's like, hey, where where do we see this scene in the next five years? Where do we see yeah. it in the next ten years? How is it gonna be for the younger musicians coming up? Like, are you doing? Uh, as far as me talking to myself, are yeah. you are you doing your job? To, to make a better opportunity for them as artists and stuff like mm -hmm. that and make people accept it more and things like yeah. that. Say those P's again for us. Uh, prior planning prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I would say say it one more time. <laughs> 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 Rabbit horse. <course. laughs> <laughs> so if you were to have one superpower, what would that be? Oh man. The voice of It's, it's kind of hard to say. I actually I did a photo shoot similar to like a like a superhero, mm -hmm. and it was me doing like some type of echo or like screaming out. So mm -hmm. it's like I'm, I'm gonna say it's maybe something to kind of put you in a trance to make you listen to me. Because with me being an, an artist and want me me having a direction and something that I want to want people to hear, I want to be able to, to kind of yeah. pull you in by what I'm saying. So maybe it's some type of vo vocal power in, in that sense. I guess I can't come up with how to. To how to say what it would be. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. I get, <laughs> I get it. Uh, tell us something about you that would surprise people that think they know you. Um, I'm kind of a loner. I'm kind of a loner. Really? Yeah. You love this hip hop? A lot of people. A lot of people just think like, oh man, he's a hip hop artist. He got this. These girls and like these crazy these cars and all these people flocking him crazy stuff. It's like no, I'm, I'm, a lot of the times of my of my day, I spend a lot of time on myself just thinking. Like I, I'm into philosophy philosophy books. Like I watch Food Network and Travel Channel. <laughs> like you know, I'm, I'm like a nerd sometimes. You know, like yeah. I watch a lot. Of, I watch a lot of that. So you know, I'm very I'm very into stuff like that. I'm kind of eclectic with how I think. You know, and you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just like I said, I was, I'm yeah. kind of free spirited and kind of like how I think about things. I don't, I don't go with the norm and and try to, you know, put this pedestal on on hip hop and how I should be. It's like, no, I'm just gonna be me. You know, this is what I'm gonna do. This is how I am. So you're definitely not the typical uh, stereotype. Uh, you know, with any, you're, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even like, you know, like even your music, you have added things, now you have a band and, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, now you have like backup singers, yes. so it has changed a lot. Oh uh, yeah, just want, want to show everyone that, you know, like for me, uh, appreciating all styles of music and showing people that, that hip hop music have once came, became uh, something that once was blues, once was jazz, once was classical music, stuff like that, you know, um, be able to bring it to the table and show people that it's still a part of this. And, and in me, in me kind of like paying, paying homage to the other genres of music, showing that I'm a student of music in general and not just hip hop. So mm -hmm. just being able to utilize all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So where yeah. can we hear you at? Um, you can hear me on, I got YouTube, um, yeah. I am J Tubbs TV. Um, I have www.imjtubs.com. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually working on a new album right now that comes really? out. Yeah, in the yeah. spring, uh-huh. 2013. Yeah. So for our audience, give it, give it, give a little taste. Give us a little uh, <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> oh, I give you some. Um, yeah. Let me see. I got some for you. Here. We'll do. I'm, just, I'm trying to think of how, how I should do it. Maybe like can I can I say I say something about women. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Baby girl, you need a better man. Someone that's gonna treat you right with a better plan. Baby, take it to your heart, please understand. Man, I hate to see you cry, girl, take a chance. Damn, I'm not on games, girl, I promise you. Let me take you on a cruise for a month or two. Let me take you to some places that you've never seen. Having candlelight dinners right by the beach. Hey, please believe I think you're worthwhile. Pretty eyes with the right mind, sexy style. Sexy smile with a little bit of energy. And I'm digging your voice, girl, you feeling me. Baby girl, can you make it last? With this cool, smooth dude with some heavy class. Got the strawberries with some crisp off in the glass. Make a sweet love listening to Pendergrass. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, can you repeat again, how do people get hold of you? Um, you can reach me at, um, actually I have several websites actually. Really? Um, but you can, you can reach me uh, primarily on www.crushhouseentertainment.com mm-hmm. as well as www.imjtubs.com. Okay, and we would like to thank you for coming in today, uh, Jay Tubbs, and um, we would like to thank you, the audience, for listening in. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.